I am beautiful. I am worthy. I am fertile. My fertility goddess. Hello, beautiful fertility goddess. Welcome to your pick a card baby bundle reading. Now this reading is timeless, so whenever it finds you, it is meant to find you. This is going to be a replica of my personal fertility reading service that I have, which is the baby bundle. Um, and this reading includes messages of uh, the gender of your future baby, timing surrounding your future pregnancy, as well as signs and symptoms that you will see and experience. Um, this reading also includes the mini spirit baby reading, which includes guidance messages from your little one, um, the ways that they love to communicate to you, and so much more. So this is a two-in-one read, um, which is why we have two parts to this reading, okay? So um, if you would like to book a bu baby bundle reading for yourself as a personal service, I do have um, that available for you. If you would like, you can click the link in my description box or in the comment section to book. And if you are seeing this on April 10th, I believe that is the date. Yes, April 10th, so the day after Easter, <laughs> you're seeing that, are seeing this on that day, you can use the code Easter to get 40% off of your booking. If you're seeing it on another day, then you can use the code YouTube anytime to save on your booking as well, okay? Um, so I have three different piles here. We have pile number one, which is this gorgeous amethyst-like cluster here, okay? So if you're attracted to this amethyst cluster, um, then this may be your pile in terms of um, signs. We're gonna be using these decks for signs, your sign of pregnancy. We also have pile number two here, which is this raw amethyst piece as well. This is one of my favorite like amethyst pieces. I actually love all three of these, but this one, I, I don't know, something special about this hair. <laughs> but um, this is for pile number two. And then we also have pile number three, which is my tumbled piece of amethyst, okay? It's it's like um, frosted on the back, okay? It's very, it's frosted. And then it has like almost a little piece of raw amethyst there because it's kind of cracked. And then it's like smoothed and shaved there. So it's a very unique piece as well. Um, and this is for pile number three. So select whichever crystal you feel most drawn to, whichever when you feel is calling out to you or the pile which we have pile one two and three and then after you watch watch part one of your reading i suggest you going into the description box or the comment section where it says part two selection click on that timestamp so you can see each pile for part two and then select either pile one two or three for the part two of your reading which will be spirit baby messages from your little one okay all right Enjoy your pile. Hello, my beautiful fertility goddesses who selected pile number one. If you selected this crystallized amethyst, then this is indeed your pile. We are actually going to use this deck for your signs of pregnancy. Okay, we're gonna see, oh, we have fish on the bottom, I love it. Um, we have a very fertile sign already popping up for you. Okay, we have for pile number one, but we're gonna put that off to the side because we are going to look at that later on in your read and use that for your signs of pregnancy. But we're gonna start off with your gender and timing messages surrounding your future pregnancy okay the one that is nearest to you and these messages are from my goddesses who are actively trying to conceive at this time so if you're actively trying to conceive um, these messages may resonate with your current energy or with your near future energy okay um, there could even be some messages that come through as I channel some messages from the past okay um, so just know that as well and also understand that these are collective readings meaning they're for a big collective of audiences okay our audience um a lot of goddesses will watch this pile so please take what resonates for you and leave the rest for others um and i think that's pretty much it in regards to that now let's see here what we have when it comes to gender and timing okay surrounding your future pregnancy the one that is closest to you spirit this is for pile number one we would like to know what the gender of their future baby will be spirit what is the gender of their future little one? Okay, what will the gender of their baby be? Come back. Thank you, Spirit. Gender of their little one. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, we have two little ones here. So I'm seeing a baby girl and a baby boy. Okay, for some of you guys, you may actually be having twins, okay? Um, with the Six of Cups energy, I do feel that we have twins here, okay? Let me look on the bottom of the deck. For some, we definitely have a singleton baby boy coming in as well. Now, please understand this is a collective read. So if you would like to book a personal reading with me, then click the link in my bio, um, or my bio, in the description box or in the comment section to book a personal read with me. Um, if you are looking at this on April 10th, 2023, you can use code EASTER, okay, to get 40% off of your read. If you are looking at it beyond this date, then you can use code YouTube to also save on any booking that I have, okay, any service that I offer. Um, let's see here what we have when it comes to the month of conception or birth. We have two here. Okay, so the first one we have is the King of Pentacles, which is showing me a connection to April, May, which we are in April when I'm recording this, even though this is timeless, okay? Um, this, like you could be watching this right now, April, May, or you could be um, around the time where conception would lead to birth in April or May, okay? Um, if that's the case, then that means pregnancy is very near you. Right now, for my goddesses who are watching this at this time in April, um, I'm, like I said, recording this around Easter, um, then it means that pregnancy is near, okay? It means that you are headed in the right direction towards getting that positive pregnancy test, something that you are doing. I feel like this is some sort of plan that you may have created with a either your partner or with a doctor or maybe um, a some sort of guide, a coach even, a fertility health coach, something that you have decided to do and stick with um, has is working for you, okay? Um, yeah, let me see before I say anything else about, because I feel like there's some sort of connection to the past here with this plan. Either this is something that you've been doing for a while, or this is something that you have shifted or changed up from your past, your past plans, okay, your past strategies. Like you may have tried to do something different, okay, do something new here with the King of Pentacles. Um, something very practical is what I feel here, and it's leading you towards conception, um, in a very stable way here. We I'm seeing a lot of um like fertility with that fish on the bottom of the deck, okay? Um now we also have another card here. So I'm gonna flip this one over and see what we have as far as timing. Wow, so we have the sun card. So some of you guys may also have a strong connection to Leo season. Okay, so that could be the season that you conceive in or the season that you find out you're pregnant in. It can also be the season that your baby is born in or due in, okay? And Leo season is the end of July going into the beginning of August. So I am seeing July, August to be significant. And I also see April and May to be very significant in some of your journeys, okay? So there's two messages here because we have two babies or twins for some, a singleton baby boy for others here, okay? So that is what I'm seeing in regards to timing. Now let's see here in terms of zodiac signs, we're gonna look at some zodiac signs. So this could be either you, your partner, or your little ones, your future little ones, sun, moon, or rising. The first card that flew out here is Leo, okay? So there is definitely a strong connection to Leo. And like I said, that could be either you, your partner, Partner are your little one sun moon or rising sign we also have Sagittarius here okay um, which is interesting on the bottom of the deck we did have temperance which is Sagittarius season so that's interesting um, let's see who else we have we have Aries okay so Aries is actually we're in Aries season right now April uh, 20th is the end of Aries season so we are indeed in Aries season now and then we have Virgo which is also um, a earth energy like we have here with the king of pentacles which is Taurus okay so I do see that you your partner or your future little one could have a sun moon or rising zodiac sign of either Aries Virgo Sagittarius Taurus or Leo okay Leo is here a few times so that's definitely very significant um, now as far as your um, numbers of significance go actually let's look at your symptoms first the symptoms you'll experience and then we will go ahead and look at some numbers of significance here, okay? Um, let's see here. Let's see, spirit. For pile number one, what would our early pregnancy symptoms be for their pregnancy? The first one we have is 
feet okay so you could notice some changes to your feet um, I know I'm hearing that you may experience some temperature changes when it comes to your feet this can be in regards to your feet feeling very cold or maybe them feeling warmer than the rest of your body um, I also am hearing that you may notice some ankle you may have like some discomfort by your ankles or your like Achilles tendon okay um, also your calf you may have Charlie horses or experience some cramping in your legs um, that could be from like dehydration or just because that's just what's happening at that time in your body okay we also have lips here so I do feel like I did say dehydration just a few minutes ago so there could also be some connection to needing to drink more water are you feeling more thirsty maybe your throat feeling dry um, you know something like that um, I also am hearing you're going to have some very strong cravings. I do feel like for this pile, you may actually crave pickles. Okay, pickles. I'm seeing grain here. So I do feel like pickles are very important, going to be very important to you during early pregnancy. I'm hearing salty as well, salty foods, pickles. Um, and what are, what are pickles? They're like sour, right? So I guess like salty and sour or whatever that pickle taste is, like that may be a taste that you are looking for in early pregnancy. And then we also have the bottom here, which is showing me that you could have some changes to your bowel movements. You may notice that you are going more frequently or less frequently, okay, in early pregnancy as well. I also am hearing frequent urination as a pregnancy symptom too, okay? All right, let's see. Yeah, definitely dis uh, discomfort in your tummy that may lead to like gas or feeling like you have to use the restroom very often, feeling that pressure, feeling like you need to urinate often, but maybe not actually going, just having that pressure feeling. Some of you guys may actually have a UTI as well, okay? And I'm not a doctor, so I'm not saying that's what you're gonna have, but I do feel like that is a possibility here, okay? Um, now, as far as numbers go, I am seeing, let's see, we have 19, we have six, seven, five, six again, nine and nine, one and 14. Okay, so definitely we have nine repeating. We also have six repeating here a couple of times. So I do see um, the, oh yeah, six is here three times. So there's, def there's six, six and six. Yeah, so we definitely have a strong connection to the number six here in this pile. That can be your date of birth, the date that your baby is due on their due date, or their birth date could also be your partner's birth date as well um, or, a sim or an important date when you conceive or when you're ovulating the date you baby dance that leads to conception um, it could also be the date you test positive for pregnancy okay um, also the ninth is also showing up here so I do feel that the sixth through the ninth of a month can be significant in terms of dates as well as the 19th um, and actually I'm going to say the 5th through the 9th because we have the 5th here. So the 5th through the 9th, the 19th, um, as well as the 14th. Okay, I feel for some of you guys, you may actually test positive for pregnancy between the 14th and the 19th. Um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing here, as well as the 1st of the month. Okay, so those can be some significant dates in your journey. Now we're going to see what your sign of pregnancy will be here. Okay, this is the deck that you chose from, or the reason why you chose this um, this pile. So let's see what your sign of pregnancy will be here. For pile number one, what are they going to see? Ooh, okay, so we have oysters here. So there's something significant about oysters. You may see them in real life on social media and on TV. You may see them in um, like like I said, in real life, like you could see them like in a, I'm hearing like a stew or not a stew, a soup, okay, or so like a seafood, at a seafood, seafood restaurant. Um, you could also see them like at the aquarium or like at the beach, okay, but I'm also seeing here with oysters that this is, as soon as I saw this, I immediately felt like there was something in regards to smell, okay, so we have the fish on the bottom of the deck originally, and now we have oysters, so definitely sea animals are are um, something you'll be seeing around the time of early pregnancy, but it could also be you, something significant about fish or fishy smells um, around early pregnancy. It could also be in regards to like um, your smell being very heightened in pregnancy and a lot of things like bothering you are getting to you. Um, because of that, okay, like that making your, like I said, that you have the stomach here on the bottom of the deck, you could have an upset stomach in early pregnancy, okay, vomiting, nausea, different things like that, okay, and it could definitely be because you are, your smell is heightened, okay, 
All right, so that is what I have for you here, Goddess, um, in regards to the first part of your reading. Go to the description box or the comment section and go to um, part two pile selection so that you can choose a second um, pile that you're drawn to for part two. And that's going to be where we get the guidance and we get the um, messages from your spirit baby. Um, but as far as what I'm seeing right here, like I said earlier, I do feel like you are going to be conceiving after um, sticking with a very structured strategy. Okay, because this feels like something, either something new from the past, okay, or this is something that you have been doing for a while from the past, um, and it's finally going to prosper, okay? Like, this is something that is, I'm hearing tried and true, okay? And I feel like this is something that you have, like, been perfecting along the way. So maybe you tried something in the past that didn't really work very well, didn't help you conceive. So you kind of tweaked it a bit to make it fit more to your schedule or more to you and your partner's baby dancing schedule, or you added some things or took some things away. And I feel like you've been doing this routine or this cycle, um, this regimen from cycle to cycle until the point where it just feels natural to you. This feels like a very natural energy. Okay, some of you could, could be actually um, working even though it feels natural it feels like what you are um, doing is starting to feel like just a part of your regimen like you kind of got into this routine feeling even if it's something to do with medical because I do see we're here the seven of swords there could be some med medical things involved whether it's medication or procedure like IUI or IVF but it could also be um, it doesn't have to be bad, okay? But I'm just saying that that is an option here. Um, I just feel like whatever it is, you have gotten to, into this routine where you're now used to it or you are, you know, you and your partner have perfected it or tweaked it enough to where it works for your schedule. It just works for you guys and your path. And that's what leads to pregnancy. That's what, le that's what leads to this positive outcome here, okay? So like I said, this is what I'm seeing here as far as your first part. Click down below for your second part and I'll see you in your next reading. Bye. Hello, beautiful fertility goddess. If you selected pile number two, which was this gorgeous raw amethyst crystal, then this is indeed your pile. This deck that you selected from is actually going to be your signs deck. So we're going to look and see what your sign or your animal sign will be here or anything else that comes up um, around the time that you have conceived or that you'll be finding out that you're indeed pregnant, okay? So we're going to push that to the side because we're going to start off with gender and timing, okay, surrounding your future pregnancy. Now, I do want to say that this is indeed a collective message, so please take the messages as they resonate for you, as everything may not resonate for you per se, okay? And that's okay, because this is, like I said, a collective message. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, and if you're watching this the day that I publish it, which is April 10th, then please know that I am having a huge sell right now okay 40 percent off of all of my services with the code easter so you can go to my site which is mysecuritygoddess.as.me and you can book with me um for right now or you can book for future whichever you prefer using the code easter now if you are saying this beyond april 10th then you can use the code youtube or if you're part of my email community there may be even another code you can use okay there's always something going on here um, but if you would just like to use youtube you can also get a discount with that too okay so let's dive into these messages here surrounding the gender of your future baby okay thank you sir this is for pile number two for my goddesses who selected pile number two the gender i knew it the gender of their baby we have here a king of cups so that is showing me baby boys, okay, baby boys surrounding my um, beautiful pile number two goddesses. We are going to see here what, it, what the time frame is surrounding this pregnancy. OMG, we have the Empress, which is showing me that pregnancy is very, very close. If, it, if you are not currently pregnant, I do feel that you will be pregnant within the next three months, okay? Let's see what zodiac signs this may resonate with or the zodiac sign that your little one may have as their sun, moon, or rising zodiac sign. Okay, the first one we have is Sagittarius. Okay, so they could have a strong connection to Sagittarius season, or that could be your sun, moon, or rising zodiac sign. We also have Pisces. Okay, this could be you or your partner or your little one's sun, moon, or rising zodiac sign as well. And let's see here. What else we have? Leo. Okay, so you, your partner, or your little one could have a sun, moon, 
a rising zodiac sign as a Leo. Okay. They could have strong Leo in their birth chart, strong Sagittarius, or strong Pisces. Okay. And let's see, let's get one more here. An Aries. I was just going to say strong fire, and here we are with all three fire signs. So definitely strong fire. And I also see Taurus here on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so you, your partner, or your little one could have strong Taurus, Pisces, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius in your chart. Okay, um, some of you guys could also have a connection to Scorpio season as well. Okay, um, so let's see here. What we have when it comes to your symptoms of pregnancy let's see what your symptoms of pregnancy will be okay your early pregnancy symptoms here for pile number two spirit pile number two we have the first one is the back energy okay so we have the back energy you may have some lower back discomfort or um yeah definitely feeling lower this feels like something that's actually going to go into your legs some of you guys may actually feel like sciatica pain like that nerve pain from your thigh or in your thighs and your lower back and your hips okay there's something about discomfort there you may even have lower abdomen cramping or implantation cramps that you feel like not just in the lower abdomen area but also in your back area we have the neck here okay so you could also be stressed or feeling um, discomfort in your neck okay this could be from sleeping the wrong way or this could also be this feels like more muscular here okay I also am hearing that you could experience some discomfort on the inside of your neck like your throat okay this could be because you're coming down a little cold or around the time that you find out you're pregnant you may have like a throat infection or something going on with your throat okay and once again we have the thighs here we have outer thighs now okay so like i said i do feel like the discomfort that you um, that you're going to have in your back it may actually go down into your legs or your upper thighs now i also am hearing you may notice that you have some skin changes in early pregnancy this could have be having more acne this could be in regards to you noticing like varicose veins or veins popping out especially in your chest area okay you may look in the mirror and notice that your veins are more prominent they're like you can see them through your skin um and also when it comes to skin changes you may notice that you have like rashes like patches of rashes or discomfort when it comes to um what is it like um not necessarily itchy rashes but like inflammation okay like you may see like red spots on your skin um that, that's kind of like eczema right but it's almost like you're seeing red spots on your skin because your body is feeling like hot or you're having hot flashes or something's going on with that okay so and it's making your skin ir feel irritable so there's something about that happening some of you guys may notice that your hair is different okay your skin and your hair um your skin hair and nails okay for some this will be that it'll get brittle but for others i do feel like it may be a major change like you start actually having your hair um like looking shinier and it's looking um you know it's growing and um your nails are stronger and they're growing okay this feels more so like later on in pregnancy though it may not be one of your first symptoms but i do feel like this is something that you may experience as well okay all right, so let's look at these numbers here. I'm gonna see what numbers of significance we have here. Now, these can be dates that you conceive, the date that you find out you're pregnant. For some, this may even be the date that you like start a new cycle that leads to pregnancy for you, okay? Um, I'm seeing the first through the ninth coming through very strongly here. We have one, we have two, we have three, we have four, we have five, okay? Then we have um, the ninth, uh, we actually have the 10th, you know what i'm gonna say the first through the 13th okay because i feel like the first two weeks of a month are very significant for pile number two um we have literally the first the second um we have the third we have the fourth the fifth then we have the ninth we have the 10th the 12th and the 13th so <laughs> i'm seeing the first through the 13th i actually feel like for you guys you may actually test positive for pregnancy between 10 and 13 dpo Okay, that's something that I'm seeing here for you. Um, but yeah, that's what I have in regards to this reading. If this is something that you're interested in getting for yourself, I highly recommend it, especially if you're actively trying to conceive. And so Baby Bundle does come with your, um, like read about, you know, gender timing sign symptoms, um, as well as your, um, significant numbers and zodiac signs and then it also comes with spirit baby messages okay 
um, spirit baby messages surrounding your um, guidance for conception and anything else your little one wants to tell you. Now, um, this is what I have in regards to this part of your reading. Before we go, I do want to get your sign, okay, because we are using this deck to see what your sign will be um, around the time that you conceive. So let's see here. Oh my goodness, how cute. We have an otter. And I love that we have um, the Ace of Cups here, okay, because the Ace of Cups is Wow, and the Two of Cups, okay? So we have the Ace of Cups showing me that there is definitely a new beginning that is coming in um, at this time for you, okay? And this could definitely represent pregnancy happening right now, okay? Or like I said, within the next three months from whenever you're watching this reading. Um, for some, your sign will be an otter. For others, your sign may be um, lily pads, okay? Like these little lilies here, okay? Um, and even these little flowers for others, okay? This pink and yellow flower. Pink and yellow flowers, lily pads, and then we have the otter here, okay? So take them as they resonate for you and your journey. If you start seeing otters like all over the place and you think you may be pregnant, please take a pregnancy test, okay? <laughs> if you start seeing lily pads all over the place and on social media, TV, maybe even in, on, in real life, maybe in your dreams, take a pregnancy test, okay? Especially if you think that there's a possibility for you to be pregnant at this time. All right, because I do feel it's very heightened. Now, if you would like to see what messages your baby has for you at this time in regards to how they connect to you, messages of guidance, love, and support, then click down below in the description box or the comment section where it says part two selection. Choose your pile from there and then select the timestamp for your pile and watch your reading, okay? So I'll see you in part two of your read and I'm sending you so much love, light, and of course, baby dust. Bye. Hello, beautiful fertility goddess. If you chose pile number three, which was this beautiful tumbled amethyst with a frosted back or cover, then this is indeed your reading, okay? We are gonna actually use this deck towards the end. That will be your sign of pregnancy, the sign that your baby will show you around the time of conception, um, around the time that they are on their way to you. We're gonna start off with gender and tiny because why not, right? This is the Baby Bundle Reading. This is a service that I offer on my website at myfertilitygoddess.as.me. And right now it is 40% off. If you're watching this on April 10th when I post this, then you have the opportunity to save 40% on this reading. If you are not, you still have an opportunity to save using the code YouTube when you go to my booking page, okay? Which is listed in the comment section as well as in the description box if you would like to book a personal reading with me. Now, we are going to start off with gender and timing, like I said, but I want you to know since this is a collective reading, um, these messages, all of them may not resonate with you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. If you would like to see um, for yourself what is in store for your particular journey, then click the link in my description box, okay, or in the comment section to book a personal reading with me. Now, as far as gender, oh my gosh, we have the Empress, okay, for pile <laughs> number, oh my gosh, for pile number three, okay, we have the Empress here. The Empress is here, okay, she is showing up and showing out, okay, let's see what we have in regards to timing surrounding your <laughs> your future pregnancy now with the empress i don't know if i even have to say it but i'm seeing baby girl there okay for pile number three okay so baby girl coming through here now let's see when you'll be conceiving this baby girl or finding out that you are indeed pregnant um let's see here that was too many or there's three cards can we have one spirit for pile number three what month will they conceive or find out that they are pregnant with this baby girl. This could also be the month that they are due in, okay? So we have the Four of Swords. I'm gonna take two cards because they both wanted to come out and this is a collective reading. So this may resonate differently for multiple people. So I'm gonna take both because Spirit wants me to take them both. Um, so I am seeing here the Four of Swords to be relevant. Now this can be in regards to the month of October, okay? The month before, the month after may be relevant in terms of the month you can see, find out our, that your baby 
find out that you're um, <laughs> that find out that you are pregnant are the month that your baby is born or due in. Okay. I'm also seeing here we have the Seven of Cups, which is showing me November. Okay. So both cards um, <laughs> represent the same time frame. So I'm seeing October, November to be very relevant to your fertility journey. Okay. It could also be September for some. September, October, November. Now these may be the month, like I said, that you either conceive in, find out that you're pregnant. Um, in or they could be the month that your baby is born or due in okay around September through November now these are timeless messages so whenever you are seeing this um, this is it is right for you okay there's no right or wrong um, answer by the way I don't know if I said in the beginning if you would like to get 40% off of the baby bundle reading or any of my services you can use code Easter because I am recording this around Easter time so that is relevant for me to say if you want to save in that way um, but um, if you are um, watching this beyond Easter know that this is still accurate for you okay um, you may actually be watching it around October November or maybe even September and with the Empress here I do feel like pregnancy could be near if you're watching it around that time or for example the around the time that you conceive right now may be leading to birth in, in between September and November then that can also be an indication that pregnancy is very near here with the Empress showing up for you okay um, yeah we have the ace of swords on the bottom of the deck I do feel like you run it your you're going to you may be making a decision okay over the next four weeks okay for some of you guys this is going to be over the next four weeks okay or this could even be in the month of july or um yeah i feel like the month of july or august you may be making some sort of decision for your journey um and this is going to lead you to help lead you to um staying focused on one plan of action one plan of you know one motion um that is going to lead you to conception okay for some of you guys you may actually be experiencing um like going forward with the procedure around that time so july august okay you could be going around going through with the procedure or within the next four weeks you may be going through with the procedure um or going to have a doctor's appointment or something with a medical professional um that is going to help lead you in the direction towards pregnancy okay it's going to help push you towards your desires here is what i'm seeing now let's see what we have in regards to your zodiac sign messages now these zodiac signs may be either you your partner or your little ones sun moon are rising zodiac sign so let's see what we have here sun moon are rising zodiac sign okay the first one we have is pisces oops <laughs> we have pisces here so that could be you your partner or your little one sun moon are rising we also have aries okay so aries is also um, a significant zodiac sign for you your partner or your little ones sun moon are rising we also have capricorn okay so capricorn could also be significant okay it could be you your partner or your little one sun moon are rising sign um let's see what else we have here okay Let's see. I'm also hearing that some of you guys may be conceiving within the next four weeks, okay, from whenever you're watching this. We have Virgo here. We did get some September energy that came through earlier. Um, so Sun, Moon, or Rising could be significant for Virgo, okay, for you or your partner. And then we also have October, oh my gosh, and below that we have Scorpio. So um, I'm seeing Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio also being very significant. Um, and like I said, I was seeing August, or September through um november to be relevant to timing for some of you guys for others i feel like you may be conceiving very soon or very quickly within the next four weeks you may be testing positive for pregnancy or you may be conceiving within the next four weeks um this could also be the time frame that you go through with a procedure have a procedure done that leads you towards pregnancy or meet with a doctor who gives you a very focused um focus driven plan okay for you to move forward with um your journey okay so i'm seeing a few things but this is for a lot of people so that makes sense okay <laughs> um wow so pisces aries libra scorpio capricorn and virgo i feel like a lot of goddesses are going to choose this pile pile number three because we do have a lot of signs now like i said this can be your sign sun moon or rising your partner's sun moon or rising or your baby's your future baby's sun moon or rising zodiac sign okay now let's see what your pregnancy symptoms will be your early signs of pregnancy for pile number three spirit what will their early signs of pregnancy be let me shuffle this up a little bit more because i feel like that was from the last well if it's meant to come out spirit let it just come right back out oh, thank you 
let's see who are you so the first one we have is chest okay so you may actually notice some changes to your breast um, you may have like um, notice the darkening I'm hearing darkening of your areola there could also be a lot of tenderness and discomfort okay um, for some of you guys as well the number three is very significant we have three here and we also have three on the Empress um, we also have the stomach okay so you could have not feel nauseous or have um, vomit a lot okay yeah definitely vomiting here happening with the stomach energy I'm also hearing like gas and um, really uncomfortable gas and like bubble guts okay it's what I'm hearing um, we have the hips definitely bloating okay coming through with the hip energy you may notice that your um, clothing doesn't fit like it used to okay you may notice early that your clothing starts to feel a little tight a little snug and you may just feel like it's because you're constipated or because you have a lot of gas and you're bloated um, but that could also be a very early pregnancy symptom for you and then we have the back okay so you may also experience some discomfort in your back in early pregnancy too okay um, now let's see what we have here we have eight eight seven twelve four three six um ten five three four and eight okay so we have um eight here three times so the eighth of a month is very significant i was picking up on august that could be relevant to like i think i said july was it july august or august i don't remember it came through and went but i want to say august was important for some reason here for your journey um so i do see eight coming in heavily heavily here um i'm also seeing I feel like the 5th through the 10th, okay, is important. I also feel like the 3rd of a month is going to be very important for you. For some, the number 54 is important, and so is 43. Now, these can be test result numbers that you receive, like your first HCG beta. This can also be someone's age, okay, 43 or 54. Um, but I'm also seeing here that we have let's see what else spare what other numbers i think i said three already three hits here a few times you may also see angel number 888 okay that is definitely um a angel number that you will see around the time of pregnancy something that you will see often um something about abundance okay a lot of abundance being around you you could be in a very abundant time okay um yes it's harvest the crop with the virgo energy um you could be a virgo okay our capricorn neighbor aries pisces scorpio but um definitely feeling a lot of heavy earth energy a lot of virgo capricorn taurus energy here okay um as well um but i do feel um our libra yeah libra too i do feel here that there's a lot of abundance that is surrounding you around the time that you conceive you're feeling abundant you're attending to your needs, you're taking care of yourself, you're taking care of your body, taking care of your mind, okay, and you're, um, you're making intuitive moves, so you're moving, um, you're listening to your heart, and you're making actions based on that, you're not really second-guessing yourself, okay, um, you may find that around the time you test positive for pregnancy, or you may find that you actually conceive, right, Final for some of you guys, finally conceive, because you feel like you've been trying for a very long time, or you have been trying for a very long time, and so you're like, finally, but this feels like you can conceiving when you are con in spa a space of contentment, when you are in a space of listening to yourself, listening to your heart, um, and um, really tending to what it is that your body needs, okay? It's almost like you're in this 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 goddess era, this abundant era, okay? Um, and that's when pregnancy is going to happen for you. But um, I love it. I love it. I love it. So let's see here what your sign of pregnancy will be as we close out this first part of your reading. Definitely go down below and select part two selection, the pile selection. Okay, select that timestamp so you can see the different piles for part two and then select your pile from there. Okay, so let's see here. Ooh, so for my pile number three, goddesses, part one, we have respect receptivity is here okay like i said i do feel like you're going to be in the space of um your goddess era okay your space of receiving your space of divine feminine energy um but i'm also seeing a praying mantis here okay so this is showing me that your sign of pregnancy will be a praying mantis for some it might even be a grasshopper okay you're definitely going to be in a higher vibrational energy 
um, around the time that you can see, okay, or you're just going to feel very content when you're pregnant. That just may be an energy your body shifts into when you're pregnant. And you may just be like, you know what? I am okay with everything right now. Like, I am okay with the world. Like, I know if there's some things that I can't control. Like, I'm just in this very content space with life. I'm going to meditate. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to listen to my heart and take action on that. Um, and I am perfectly good, right? Like that's the energy you're going to be carrying here. And then all of a sudden you're going to find out that you are pregnant. Okay. <laughs> so that's what I have for you, pile number three. Um, go ahead and select part two of your reading so you can get messages from your spirit baby of guidance, clarity, as well as we're going to look at some messages of connection, how they like to connect to you or send you signs. Um, so yeah, go select your pile and I'll see you there. Bye. Hello, beautiful fertility goddess. Welcome to part two selection for your part two of your reading. We are going to dive into some spirit baby messages from your little one, okay? But I first want you to choose your pile. So we have pile one, two, and three here. Okay, so choose pile one, two, or three. No crystals or anything. I just want you to use your intuition and select whichever card you feel most attracted to or most drawn in by. And then you can select the pile timestamps down below in the description box or in the comment section. So get your messages from your baby about how they love to connect with you, the messages that they wanna give you at this time in regards to guidance for your fertility journey and so much more, okay? I won't talk too much, <laughs> but know that you can select your spirit baby messages from down below and I'll see you in your pile. Hello, beautiful fertility goddess. If you selected card number one from part two pile selection, then this is indeed your reading. Now, I want to say that this is part two of the baby bundle reading that I offer as a personal service on my website. You can go to myfertilitygoddess.as.me to book with me, um, as that is my booking site, okay? So don't get scammed by scammers and stuff like that. Be careful. That is my booking site, um, and that is where I suggest you go to book. Now, if you're seeing this on April 10th and you would like to book on this day, I am having a 40% off sale. You can use the code Easter to get that discount. Or if you're watching it on a different day, you can use the code YouTube at any time to book your personal reading with me and save as well, okay? Now, with this message, with the baby bundle reading, it is a two-part reading which includes gender timing sign symptoms as well as um, any other messages that come through from your baby in part one. That is what part one is about if you haven't seen that yet and part two is all about spirit baby messages so we're going to get a message from your baby here i'm going to get some cards for you from behind mama's spirit baby oracle deck which is also on my site if you would like to purchase it it is a deck that we created um me when i say we i mean me and the spirit babies have created for my goddesses to use along their fertility journeys or to help others along theirs um and we're also going to use the hi daddy spirit baby oracle deck which is another deck that i also have created with or i also created with the spirit babies that's also available to purchase um you can find the links to those in my description box so let's see here let's get two more or three more i'm sorry messages here Okay, and we're going to flip them all over and I'm just going to see what message your baby has for you. Now, the fun part of this reading, or another fun part of this reading, and my favorite part, I think that's why I said the fun part, is about their personality. I'm actually going to get a personality card here because this part of the reading does include learning more about them and who they are. So we're going to get some of those messages here too. Okay, um, and then... I am going to give a message in regards to how they love to connect with you, okay, how they send you messages. Um, so let's do that as well, okay, and let's see here. Now, I do want to say this is a collective reading, so, oh, that flew like no other. So let me grab it. <laughs> so we have that message for you too. Um, this is a collective reading, so everything may not resonate with you, so please take what does and leave the rest, okay? So let's flip over these cards. I'm gonna flip them all over. Wow, look at all that green. Okay, so heart chakra um, connection is very important. Lots of love energy. We have relationship here. Okay, wow, okay. So the first message I see says, hi mama, their opinions do not matter. 
what do you want okay we have mama it is time to set boundaries and then we have hi mama growth and expansion is a big part of our conception journey okay so what i'm seeing with those messages there the first thing that i'm hearing from your spirit baby is that there is too much influence from external energies this feels like other people okay that are in your environment especially with their opinions do not matter um it's time to set boundaries so this could be people it doesn't have to be it could be in regards to something else that you're doing and your fertility journey maybe this is a doctor's opinion okay i'm not gonna say don't listen to your doctor but maybe get a second opinion if you feel like you feel this way or maybe there's something that your partner has said your personal partner maybe there's something that they don't agree with okay and there's there's just a lot of influence that is going on there's a lot Lot of energy that's surrounding you and your baby is wanting you to sit and think for yourself maybe you need to meditate maybe there is some clarity that needs to come through in regards to your path okay but your baby is asking you like what is it that you want i'm hearing journaling maybe it's time for you to make a list okay write down what it is how you see your journey going the vision that you have for your journey do you see yourself trying you know conceiving through natural methods do you see yourself conceiving through medical methods um you could have people that every time you go to the doctor they say well you need to lose weight or you need to do this you need to do that um and your little one is like okay you have a lot of opinions that are flowing into you which may not be you know it's, it's not bad advice of course it's coming from your doctor but maybe you should get a second opinion because you may have someone who says you know what you need to lose like 40 pounds before you can even think about conceiving and then you may have someone who's like you know what if you get to a certain percentage down from your BMI or whatever, you will have a healthier chance of conceiving. It's really about the way you say things and about the way that you like, you know, like I want to say, I almost said play the game, but that's really what it is, right? It's really about the way that you adjust your your lifestyle okay so that it's healthy for both you and baby but it doesn't have to be a drastic like shift right sometimes just losing 10 pounds can make a difference um if it is weight but it doesn't have to be with your weight either that was just like something that was coming through from spirit um for that may resonate with someone okay um but mama advocate for yourself Okay, get clear on what it is that you want and go for it. Okay, we have growth and expansion is a big part of your conception journey with your baby. So you're definitely meant to make a decision and then take action on it here with the growth and expansion card. I do feel like this is the three of wands energy, um, which is like your ships are selling in or they're coming in. They're coming to you. You're, re you're receiving um, the rewards for your hard work because you decided to make a decision and take action towards something new new and expansive you're moving out of your comfort zone and you're working with others we have to collaborate with others mastermind you can't do this alone okay um so you're working with others um and you're making things happen now this working with others i do feel like we have compromise here with relationship energy this could be you and your partner you know coming to an agreement or this could be you and your doctor coming to an agreement that works for both of you guys but definitely your baby wants you to not just follow suit of what others are saying they really want you to pay attention to what it is that you want and know and go in with that set like this is what i expect okay and if you have to tweak things right because your doctor has a great uh, you know some great advice or they are saying this is what you need to do and you feel in your heart and your soul that this is something that you need to do then are something that you want to do and your partner's like you know what that doesn't really work for me i want to do blah 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 then there may be a need for compromising okay but you have to know what it is that you want to and not just be allow others to push you around in your own journey okay um now i also see here it says the time we spend together will create great memories for the future so your baby is letting you know that the more like all the times that you guys are going to spend together and this is also for your partner's energy here okay not just for you not just for you mama but also for your partner okay your baby's saying the more the time that you guys spend together as a unit um, is going to create great memories for their future okay that is so beautiful i'm also hearing something about being sentimental so your baby could be sentimental and really enjoy the um like the letters and the 
the lip, the photographs, okay? Like they like to keep those types of things or that's going to be something that they're going to enjoy looking at when they are older. I'm also hearing something about a new house. Some of you guys may be moving in, into a new place before you conceive or that's something that is relevant, okay? You could even just be moving into to like relocating or working with a new doctor. Maybe you're going to be working with a new physician, um, but there's something about moving, okay? Moving and doing something different here when you do conceive, okay? Um, let's see what else we have here. Also for those, um, for my goddesses who haven't really been baby dancing with their partners, okay, I do see here that your baby is encouraging you to get a little spicy with your partner, okay, <laughs> you're not in this alone, mama, and you can't do this alone, okay, this is not something that your baby is advising you to do, whether this is physically, you can't do this alone, or maybe this is in regards to um, emotionally, you receive an emotional support, spiritual support, okay, mental support, um, but I definitely feel like there's a message here for someone, um, for a couple in regards to baby dancing and spending time together, spending more time together, going on date nights, um, being spontaneous, baby dancing, um, really enjoying each other's company instead of just making this more of like a business deal, like we got to make this baby, like really put the passion and the romance back into your relationship here, okay? <laughs> so I do see that as well. Now let's see what this baby's personality is like. We have two cards here. So the first one says the patient moon, okay? So I do feel like they're going to be very quiet, possibly a little shy, okay? Um, definitely they're going to have a strong connection to moon energy or they may actually um, like mess with their moon energy. Like they're going to like being and like, what is the right word spirit? I feel like they're going to be more in tune with their moon energy than their sun sign energy. So their moon sign, they make something about them being really in tune with their moon sign. Okay. Something like that, um, is coming through very big, but I'm also seeing here, um, they're, they're going to be very quiet, very patient, very shy. Um, not really wanting to like stick up for themselves or like speak up for themselves and advocate for themselves. They could even get this energy from you or your partner, okay? Um, that could be your, your energy too. But I feel like that is definitely going to be something that they um that they, they embody. Now let's see what else we have here. The honest eyes. Oh, so there's something very significant about their eyes. Okay, they're, I feel like they're going to have the most beautiful eyes. Um, some of them may even wear glasses. Okay, there could be like some babies that are going to wear glasses. Um, I also see here there is definitely a strong connection to earth energy. We have a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here. And then with moon, I am feeling heavy water. So this is Pisces, can Cancer, and Scorpio energy. That could be you, your partner, or your little one, sun, moon, or rising zodiac sign. Doesn't have to be, but I feel that energy here with these two cards. Um, and then I also see with the honest eyes that they're going to be very truthful. They're going to be, I'm hearing the goody two shoes, but not really. They're going to be the one that wants to, like, that wants recognition, the one that wants to um, be told, like, good job, you know, you, you did a good job today, you were good at school, or you're going to be the child that wants to get the sticker or the reward because they, you know, answered all the questions correctly. They're also going to want to please others. I feel like as a child, they're going to really want to, um, like I said, I, I keep coming back to recognition. It's like they really want you to say, you know what, you're You've done a good job, okay? That's gonna be really big for them. Um, that's gonna make them very happy. They're also gonna be very truthful, okay? Very honest to others, to yourself. They're gonna tell you some things that maybe they sh they shouldn't, like as a child or as a teen. Um, you may find that they're super honest, which you're gonna love, but their friends may be like, why are you even telling your mom that? Why are you even telling your dad that? Like, that's our secret. We're supposed to keep that to ourselves, but they're gonna be very honest with you, which you're gonna really enjoy. Um, maybe Maybe even too honest, their mouth may even get in the way and <laughs> sometimes when they're in conversation because they're they are literally brutally honest, okay? Like they're just gonna tell it how it is. Um, no sugar coat note here. So definitely seeing that here, okay? Now let's see how they communicate with you. So we have here breathe and relax. Timing is very important for us. 
Wow, okay, so your baby wants you to trust in divine timing, to be patient here. We have the patient moon. I'm also hearing with the honest eyes that your baby is asking you to be honest with yourself. Really evaluate what's going on with your body, especially your body, but it could also be your mind um, and your, your spiritual connection um, and your emotional connection. But I feel a strong pull to really evaluating, Mama, what is going on with your body right now? What is it that we need to step away from? What is it that we need to go towards? Who is it that we need to connect with? Who should you collaborate or um, what do you need to compromise about, okay? What is it that you need to cut out from maybe your, your eating habits or what is it that you need to add to your workout routine? What is it that you need to do? Maybe you need to rest more, okay? Um, do you need to connect more with nature? Are you, you know, do you, are you feeling pulled to eating organic foods, okay? Drinking only water. Like what is it that you're feeling? Your, what is it that your body is telling you? Do they really want you to be aware and, and, and truthful with yourself as well, okay? And then start making those changes. Like I said, I do feel like the three of wands is here with the growth and expansion card. So taking that step with the two of wands, making that decision, and then moving towards what it is that you feel you need to do, okay? Like you feel that you need to cut out certain things from your diet then start slowly one by one cutting it out be patient with yourself we have the patient moon be patient with yourself okay maybe even reach out to a nutritionist have them give you some advice in regards to that you know talk to your partner about you guys maybe doing this new diet change together you know um and then really focusing on your own energy throughout this path that is going to help you stay in tune with self and not focus on the external like somebody may say oh you cut out that like you didn't even lose any weight right that can really mess with your head and you may be like what like or you may lose like a pound or two when you go back to the doctor and they're like uh no big deal and you're that might mess with your head and you may be like well i might as well eat what i want to eat right but in reality it's going to take some time and spirit is like just be patient with yourself stay in tune with your own energy as you move forward and keep supportive people around you because you don't have to be in this this you're not on this journey alone okay um and the message that we have the last message i have from your baby says i send thoughts to your mind to communicate use your telepathic awareness Beautiful. Okay, so your baby loves to connect with you through thoughts, okay, through your thoughts um, and through your telepathic awareness. So, and that is what I have for you guys for part two of your reading. I also want to mention I am seeing the number 19 and 27 here. So the numbers 9, 10, 19, 27, and 3 are standing out very strongly here for me. So these could be some important numbers that you may have even heard in your first reading part one um or they could be the date of birth for your baby your date of birth or your partner's date of birth um the date you conceive or have an important doctor's appointment okay so um yeah that's what i have i'm sending you so much love light and of course baby dust and i'll see you in my next reading bye Hello beautiful fertility goddess. If you selected pile number two, then this is indeed your fertility reading, your part two of your read, which is your spirit baby messages. Now this is the reading that is on my website, okay, as a baby bundle read. This is a two-part reading that you will receive if you decide to book as a personal service from me. Um, and it includes gender timing, signs, symptoms, as well as messages from your baby. Um, we will look further into how they love to connect with you, their personality, messages about their personality, and anything else that comes through from your baby. Now, in this particular read, this is a collective reading for multiple goddesses. So take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest rest okay um now if you would like to book this personal service if you're viewing this on april 10th the day after easter which i believe is april 10th um <laughs> then um you can use the code easter to get 40 percent off of your service okay any of the services that i offer um and if you are viewing this beyond that no worries this is timeless okay but that sell may be over <laughs> so you can use the code youtube to get any, um, just also save, okay, on any service that I have listed on my site, myfertilitygoddess.as.me, okay? Now let's get a couple of cards here. I'm gonna lay these all out before we dive in. I'm gonna get a card that represents your baby's personality. Okay, so let's get a personality card. Oh my gosh, I love it. 
Okay, flipped over so I did see it, but that's okay. It's super cute. Okay, let's see what else we have here when it comes to how they love to connect with you. Okay, let's see what that message is there. Cool, we're all set. So let's flip these over and dive into your message. Okay, all righty. Ooh, all right, for pile number two. Ooh, oh, oh my goodness, okay. All right, so I'm using the Hi Mama and the Hi Daddy Spare Baby Oracle deck, but even though they say Hi Mama, Hi Daddy, gender does not matter here, okay? Please take the messages as they resonate, and I'm just gonna read them as like Oracle messages here for all. Um, so know that these may resonate with your you your energy or your partner's energy and take them and place them how they fit, okay? If they don't fit, don't try to make them fit because <laughs> they're not for you, okay? Um, now, what I am seeing here, we have, hi, mama, I am bringing your awareness to the parts of your body that need attention. Now, at the bottom, we have health and fitness, okay? So... Here we are with this double energy here for pile number two. Um, the health and fitness card says, listen to the signs and signals from your body, make health a priority and health professional, okay? So you or your partner may be connecting with a health professional to help bring changes to your body. This could be maybe you guys are doing them, you know, maybe together, or maybe this is something that you're doing individually on your own here. Um, but your baby is asking you to make health a priority. As a matter of fact, they are sitting Sending you or bringing you awareness to the parts of your body that need attention and I feel like this is through signs and signals from the universe like this is literally you may see like a um, billboard for like a someone that's advertising going to like a doctor or a billboard that says you know like hurt your back like you know like something like that or maybe a commercial about um, something to do with the uterus or a commercial about the reproductive system or a commercial about um, um, like something to do with the mind okay like our emotions even and that could be a sign that your baby's like hey mama we need to we need to tap into some healing for our mind or we need to tap into some healing for our emotions or maybe we need to check out something go to the doctor and ask them about you know the re our reproductive system here what's going on okay so just pay attention to um, how you are receiving signs from the universe that your baby's throwing your way okay about the different parts of your body now these can also be signs directly coming in from your body because maybe you woke up on morning and your neck is hurting or your back is hurting or you're having some you know difficulty in urinating like pay attention to these different signs because your baby is definitely bringing you your attention to parts of your body that need extra attention okay now we have here mama divine timing is a big part of our conception journey and it's okay to move away from stagnant energy now with the move away from stagnant energy we have travel here it says time to move in a new direction new land moving forward, relocation, or vacation, okay? So your baby is saying, mama, daddy, it is time for us to move in a new direction. Something that we have been doing from the past is not working, okay? This could be in regards to you bringing in healing to your body, or it could be in regards to like a health plan or a fitness plan, okay? Um, but I feel like your little one is like, if something is not working, then it's okay for you to sh shift and switch it up, okay? Like that's what I'm feeling here big time okay as a matter of fact it may be time to do that you may have been being in this very patient energy trusting in the divine um the divine timing okay but i'm hearing the time is now so don't sit on a a nudge an intuitive feeling that you may have to like do something or take action when it comes to your body um because your baby is like the time is now okay have a little bit of patience as you go through this healing journey because i do feel like for this pile there is a healing journey okay that involves you connecting with the health professional or you moving in a new direction trying something different to bring in healing to your body definitely feel like this is physical healing okay could be like i said mental or emotional or spiritual but definitely feeling physical healing here for pile number two so please 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 listen to your body please 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 continue to take action for forward continue to move forward okay or in a new direction if you feel like what you were doing previously is not working for you okay your health is a priority your health is a priority that is the main thing like the whole reading here from your baby is about your health so mama dada please okay listen to your body please make the shifts necessary 
please, you know, work with a new doctor, maybe go to a nutritionist, work with a personal fitness coach, okay? Do some yoga, sign up for some sort of like Pilates class or, you know, have just, I don't know. I just, I just feel the urgency here surrounding your health, surrounding your body, okay? And I'm not a health professional, so I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with your health, but it's like your baby wants you to be in like this optimum shape or like this optimum, it's not even about shape, but the optimum health for to have a healthy baby, healthy you, and a healthy pregnancy, okay? Um, and so that that may need that may need a little bit of shifting or changing um, in your energy, the way you think about things, the way you view things, your perspective on certain things, okay? Um, moving away from things that are not um, serving you any longer, something that may you may have doing were doing in the past, but it just is not bringing you in the results that you're looking for. It's okay to let that go, surrender it, let it go, and do something different, okay? Now, let's see what we have here in terms of your baby's personality. We have the gentle fairy. Beautiful. Okay. Wow. So, this baby could be a rainbow baby. I definitely feel like she's going to bring she or he. <laughs> I do feel very strong girl energy, though, here because we also have I love you so much, daddy. I'll be with you very soon. And we have a little pink arm there. So, I definitely am feeling heavy girl energy, okay, in this pile. Doesn't have to be, though, okay? Um... But let me know if you, like, got the girl pile from part one of your read, okay, like a girl in your reading, and then there's a girl here too. Let me know if that aligns for you, because I'm curious. Um, but I do see here that this little baby is going to bring in a lot of transformation when it comes to love, and they're also going to bring in a lot of transformation when it comes to your foundation. Like, their job is to bring in change, okay? Like, their mission in your family is to, is to provide change to your family. This could even be your very first baby, okay? This could be a rainbow baby, like I said, or a beautiful blessing you've been praying for, but I feel for some, this will be your very first baby. She may also have a very strong connection to mystical creatures um, like fairies and um, unicorns, okay? That could also be something that she enjoys, or she could show you signs of fairies or unicorns or butterflies as well, okay? So definitely seeing that too as a message from your baby, but she is one who is all about yin and yang, about balance, okay? She understands that it's okay to have both energies. As a matter of fact, we need both energies within us to stay balanced, but when we have too much of one and not enough of the other, or we stay too much in one energy and we don't shift and change and, you know, move in a new direction when we need to get out of a specific energy, then things become stagnant and then we're not able to move forward towards our desires. This is something that she is going to understand at a very young age and something that she is going to literally possibly be teaching others about, okay? Even as a child, like telling other people, like, oh, you've been mad. You may find her saying like, oh, you've been mad for too long or why are you still upset or like things that she just won't understand because she's like, why would you even extend that type of energy outward? Like, why would you want to stay mad? Why would you want to stay sad? You know, because she understands the balance. She understands the yin and the yang and how powerful it is when you're in control of that and how that in invites in brand new beginnings and transitions. So that's beautiful. And creation. She is a number of creation. We have the number three here. So definitely a very powerful number surrounding her. Um, the creative energy. I also feel like she's going to be, she or he, I keep saying she, she or he, they're going to be a very um, beautiful artist. I feel like they're going to be a creative, whether this is like a social creator or a digital art creator, or they're created in some other way, or even a physical creator, okay? Like paintings, drawings, um, writing as well, okay? Um, but that is also what I'm seeing here for this beautiful baby of yours. Now, let's see what their last little message is here for you. This is going to be surrounding the way that they love to connect with you, okay? This says, oh my gosh, I communicate colors to you. I am sending you colors through your psychic sense. And I am not surprised because I saw the rainbow. I feel like this little one's going to be a creator or is a creator. So they're going to love the paint to draw, um, you know, do things that are very bright and colorful in energy. So I am not surprised this baby sends you colors. 
as a sign from them. They may even show you rainbows. So you may see rainbows in real life, social media, TV, okay? Um, that could be a sign from them. Now, when it, they communicate colors to you, each color is going to mean something different. So what they want you to um, really do is to tap into your own intuition, into your own energy, and really see um, what the color may mean for you. Like, what does this color mean for you? If you see the color yellow, does it give you a higher vibrational energy? Does it mean to tap into your joy and freedom? And if you see the color green, what does that represent for you? Does that represent your health? Does it represent go outside into nature and ground? Okay. When you see the color blue, does it represent going towards a water place or does it represent Time to purge, time to cry, time to feel your emotions. You can even set up a color system connection with your baby and ask your baby to let you know what each color is supposed to mean, okay? Um, I love doing that. I love connecting with my little one in that way, my little ones, and asking them what certain signs and signals may mean for me, okay, when they're trying to communicate to me. So that's something you can do as well. So that is what I have for you, pile number two. Um, I hope that you were able to take away something from this reading here from your spirit baby. If you would like to book a personal read as this is collective so you can get personal messages from your little one, please let me know, okay? Or you can even just book it. If you have any questions, you can always email me and ask me your questions. Um, or you can write them in the comment section down below. Um, but if you'd like to book and save 40% today, then use the code EASTER on my website, which is listed in the description box or the comment section, or you can use the code YouTube any day to save on your read as well, okay? Sending you so much love and light, and of course, baby dust, and I'll see you in my next reading. Bye! Hello, beautiful fertility goddess. If you selected pile number three in part two, then this is indeed your reading. We are going to get a few more messages here from the Hi Mama Spirit Baby Oracle deck, as well as the Hi Daddy Spirit Baby Oracle deck before we jump into your messages, okay? Um, to get some messages of guidance, love, and reflection from your spirit baby. If you would like to purchase this deck, these are the decks that I created with the spirit babies um, to help either yourself or others. If you are a healer or a tarot reader yourself or oracle card reader yourself, um, you can definitely click the link down below in my description box or in the comment section to purchase my decks. Um, and then this is a collective message, so I just love to say, make sure you take the messages that resonate with you and you leave the ones that do not, okay? Because everything is not meant for everybody. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, then I do have um, a 40% off sale happening as of today, April 10th. But if you are watching this after April 10th, then you are welcome to, oh my gosh, you're going to have an extra card. You guys are welcome to use the code YouTube at any time to save on your reading, okay? Um, for the 40%, use the code EASTER. I'm like, what is the code? Code EASTER as I am recording this around. Actually, I'm recording this on Easter. So I'll be posting it the following day, the day after. So the day after Easter will be the last day for 40% off. Um, so use the code EASTER to book and save. Okay, we're going to get a card here from your baby about their personality. You actually have two of those as well. And then we're going to get a card in regards to how they love to communicate with you. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Their communication system with you. All right, let's dive in. Let's flip over these messages so I can see what we have. Ooh, okay, I like that. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. Let's see what else we have here. Wow. Wow. So the mess. The main message that I'm hearing here is like 
Mama, Daddy, please don't give up on me, okay? There's something here about holistic healing being a big part of your conception journey. So you may actually work with like an herbalist or an acupuncturist. You may go into work with a natural path. You may drink certain teas and these things may bring healing to your body. You may even get a massage, like a womb massage, a sacral massage that may bring in some healing to your body as well. Now, what I am seeing here is that your baby is bringing up the this this message of energetic investment a lot okay so i feel like you may be in a pause period right now or maybe you're taking a mini break or maybe you are in this space of you're feeling overwhelmed and so you're like i can't do this you're starting to have doubt going on um and your baby is saying that energetic investment is so important in your journey we even have here those sacral chakra which is the energy card and then we also have our bond is inseparable. Please don't give up on me, okay? Um, and we also have mommy really loves when you give her attention, okay? So that's a message for dad or for your partner that your baby is saying. Like mommy loves when you give her attention, so make sure you're paying attention to her. But I also feel like this is in regards to just a general oracle message here from your spirit baby about paying attention to one, the synchronicities that they're sending you because they are bringing your awareness to synchronicities that are key. You may start to see things happening. You may start to see the fruits of your labor as you are taking action. But I am hearing consistency is key for this pile. Energetic investment is key. Taking action is key. Even if you have to take a pause, okay? If you have to take a break, that's perfectly fine. Regather, regroup, reflect, right? And then take action again. But your baby is like, mama, like, I know this pile, I feel like someone in this pile has said, like, it just seems so easy for others. Like, sometimes they just, you know, they don't even have to try and they just get pregnant. And for you guys, I feel like you do have to put in certain energy towards your path. Okay, this feels like taking action. This feels like, you know, even if it's not the active tracking your cycle and what whatnot, it may be in regards to healing okay bringing in healing your, to your body um and it, intentionally drinking certain teas to bring in that healing or bring balance to your body are intentionally going to see an acupuncturist on certain days of your cycle to bring in healing and balance to your body there's some intentional action that your baby is saying is key and important especially surrounding your sacral chakra it may even be something that brings in balance to your sacral chakra it could be for you or your partner's energy um that is a this this that provides this energy of um inspiration motivation and passion okay um and i also feel like breaks are important so if you're the person that has been going and going and going and going and going and now you're starting to feel drained and tired your baby's like mama take a break daddy take a break okay it's okay you can you can pause <laughs> you can pause okay um and so they're just saying please don't give up on me okay our bond is inseparable i'm meant to come i'm meant to be here with you so please don't give up on me but um you're the type of person who feels motivated and ins when you feel motivated and inspired you take action if you don't feel motivated if you don't feel inspired if you don't feel like it's a possibility for something to happen then you kind of dwindle out on your action you don't really feel like it's worth it is what i'm feeling here even surrounding this okay even surrounding your fertility journey you may even get into a dormant space where you're just kind of like ah, uh, whatever happens happens and that may be because one you did so much in the past that now you're like i am done i am tired i whatever happens happens if it's meant to be it's meant to be or two you may be trying to protect yourself from feeling you know any type of pain from maybe a painful experience you had in the past and now you're just like i don't really want to Feel that again i'm going to protect myself in this way by saying whatever happens happens but your baby is like you are meant to actively and intentionally take action for conception to happen that is just something that is a part of your your soul contract and your conception journey okay um so giving attention to i'm hearing um i'm hearing what is the saying spirit it's something about um energy um things grow where energy flows okay so it's like you advance and you 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 hit your desires and you reach your desires when 
you give attention to that area, if that makes sense, okay? So the more energy you put towards something, the larger and more prosperous it will be here. Um, and the greater your desires and your passion and your 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 excitement for um, you know baby dancing and your excitement and your energy and your around just keep wanting to say excitement okay for your journey builds okay because you're giving an energy because you are you know even pausing like I said pausing for a second coming back okay if that's the case but you are meant to create this beautiful baby around the time when you're feeling excited about your journey when you're feeling inspired and motivated okay um and so definitely staying in that space or, or going back into that space and getting excited and, and feeling good about what's to come is key for you in your journey or is something that your baby really wants you to feel when you do conceive them okay now we also have hi daddy i'm a girl daddy's girl okay so there's a baby girl that is here and i do feel like um you are your baby and your partner's um connection is definitely going to be inseparable here okay we have the dad and the daughter that's so cute um but i'm also seeing we have mommy really loves when you give her extra attention there's also a baby boy here that is connecting with mama um and i feel like he is definitely like um, gonna be I don't want to say it but a mama's boy okay he's definitely gonna be your baby for a very long time um, always gonna be your baby actually is what I'm hearing um, and <laughs> he's always gonna watch out for you he's gonna always make sure you have what you need and that you're taken care of so that's why he's like mommy really loves when you give her extra attention <laughs> okay so um, let's see what else we have here oh you know what that is also a message coming in here from the babies there's there's something that some part of your body as well that you may actually give extra attention to or a part of your path or your journey that you may actually need to give extra attention to and that kind of reminds me of what i was saying earlier you may see others and be like oh my gosh like they just had a baby or you know like it's so easy for them to conceive um but your little one is like um you may have to give extra attention to your journey to to your conception journey um everyone's journey is different and so this is this is your path here okay um, so if hopefully that was confirmation for someone if you feel like you've been kind of doing the runaround or maybe you're starting to feel and lose momentum um, hopefully that was confirmation for you from your baby letting you know that hey mama sometimes you have to pause you know everyone's journey is different some are no longer than others but please don't give up on me because our bond is inseparable and I'm meant to come in okay um, I hope that helps someone there now what I see here oh my gosh we have two cards representing these babies um, these babies energy so first one we have is the independent girl and the next one we have is the gleeful goat okay how cute okay so i am seeing here for baby number one we have the independent girl and this little one is going to love to read especially they're going to love when they're little they're going to love for you to read to them read them story times and stuff i'm also hearing audiobooks they're going to really enjoy listening to audiobooks this could be like on youtube or some other kids like um they used to have what is that thing called leapfrog is that what it was called but like there's going to be some other things that your baby girl is really going to enjoy listening to that are going to be like story times for her but more so an electronic version um but reading stories at bedtime is important for her it's not something she's really going to enjoy i'm also seeing here that she's going to be very independent at a very young age i feel like you may find that she wants to do things on her own even when she's a baby okay she may be like two years old trying to pick out her own clothes like two or three and you letting her pick out her full-on outfit and just to help build her independence even more and encourage her to be independent because she's already going to be interested in those things um and so i do see that here the color yellow is so important i feel like did we talk about that color earlier um no i think i did in the last pile but i'm seeing the color yellow is very important here um for your pile okay something about the color yellow is significant you may see a yellow butterfly as a sign from your beautiful baby here um as well okay now for the and she's very studious okay she's going to be very studious as well um and it's almost like she is not really going to be in like in touch with social settings like she is better off having her best friend or her couple of best friends and 
her partner like when she's a teen i feel like she's gonna be on the phone with her like boyfriend or girlfriend whoever um and like you're gonna be have a hard time getting her off the phone and telling her telling her telling you different things because she's gonna be to herself a lot okay um but that's what i see with that little one the other little one i see here is going to be a very social butterfly okay um i do feel like this little one is highly connected to spirit as well very strong connection to your ancestors and your lineage as well okay um and they're gonna be very grounded very um to themselves at some points but also very social and love to hang out with others at other times okay like they're gonna bounce between those two energies there um i also am seeing that they're gonna be an animal lover okay they're really going to enjoy animals um enjoy being out in nature i'm hearing the petting zoo okay so you may take them to a petting zoo or take them to like some place where they can really interact with animals and the first time that you take them they're really gonna love it okay as long as i'm hearing as long as they're old enough to like understand what's going on like two three like they're gonna really enjoy going to the petting zoo or just the zoo in general and really interacting with the animals okay they may actually be a humanitarian or work in like the healthcare um field or work with um you know as a doctor or a nurse or do something that is very caring and loving for others or even for animals the veterinarian um and something like that okay is what i'm picking up here for this baby and I do feel like this baby could be a boy, but it doesn't have to be, okay? I'm just seeing two little ones here coming through with those two cards. So let's see what else we have here. And just to clarify that as well, the two little ones may not necessarily be both yours, okay? Um, if it sounds like they're both like kind of like your personality, your partner's personality, they could indeed be, okay? Excuse me. But they may also just be in regards to, oh, excuse me again, um, your... Um, one or the other so please take whichever you feel may resonate with your energy okay or whichever baby is calling towards you at this time um now let's see what we have here um if any okay this is a collective message so it may not resonate with you at all like in terms of the the time like your baby's energy so please 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 use your discernment okay i love to say that for collectives but i don't remember if i said that in the beginning or not for this one <laughs> So let's see what we have here when it comes to your um the connection okay here with your baby wow we have i am a star child it is time to go outside and gaze into the mysterious universe wow so your baby loves to connect with you through universal energy and i feel like this is that gleeful goat energy i was saying earlier they have a very strong spiritual connection they love being outside and being grounded okay wow that is beautiful let's see how else they love to communicate with you okay so through nature is one way um as well as um like the the universe okay through stars we also have i communicate with you by sending you physical sensations of tingling and chills okay so you may feel tingling and chills throughout your body and i feel like there's one more message here for you so let me pull it we have please practice surrender and patience i love you so very much beautiful beautiful messages here for you goddess okay um thank you so much for trusting me with your messages i do want to say before we go i am seeing the number 16 the number 6 the number 24 and the number 7 those could be and the number 12 those could be some significant dates or numbers that are relevant to you and your energy you could even be 24 years old i think i said the number 24 definitely saying that but you could be 24 years old watching this okay um as well as when you do conceive or give birth to your baby um but those other numbers could be dates in regards to the date you conceive find out you're pregnant your little one's due date or birth date the date of your first doctor's appointment or an ultrasound okay so that's what i have for you i'm sending you so much love light and of course baby dust and if you didn't watch part one yet make sure you do so okay <laughs> bye